Hey guys, Duke here talking today about the next stage. It's a huge release coming up from in Summoner's War in December 2015. There was just a live streaming event all about this and there were some subtitles. However, the Q&A session at the end was only in Korean. Uh, luckily, I have someone here from Com2S actually who translated that information and I I've listed that information at the end of this video so be sure to stick around for that the first officially released piece of information was the world boss coming up it's going to be a giant giant even bigger than the giants in kairos dungeon you're going to use 20 of your monsters that are level 30 and up it will actually be an auto battle and you'll have a limited number of attacks they didn't tell us exactly how many and they said the it's this world boss will appear about six hours after defeated and your ranking is going to depend on the amount of damage you inflicted on this. And it's going to be by server, so uh, it'll basically be depending on how many people are actually attacking the world boss. There's also going to be Rift of Worlds, which is a raid boss. This is going to be the uh, a three-player party. The first dungeon is going to be released in December, but there are going to be four more to follow in 2016. Your party can communicate, so I assume there's going to be some sort of party chat, probably kind of like guild chat. Uh, they didn't mention that you have to be in the same guild, and it's only three players, so you can probably team up with other people. It'll be an auto battle again, and your ranking for a second or third depends on the damage inflicted. There are six monsters per player, and there are four spaces in the front line, four in the back line. That means you could do three in the front, three in the back, or maybe two in the front, four in the back, etc. The boss will prioritize attacks on the monsters in the front line. So you want to put tanks in the front line, and those tanks will mitigate the area of effect damage that the boss deals to the party. So you put your squishy nukers in the back, basically. And while the battle's going on, you can slide the screen left and right, and you can see your allies attacking the boss, and you can also inspect your allied monsters. The rewards will be twofold. There's two enchantment rewards, which is a totally new mechanic in Summoner's War. One will be grindstones. These increase the value of the rune sub properties once more. So I guess instead of just plus 15, you can go once further. And there's also going to be gems, and this is a big one. It allows you to change one sub property of a rune. So if you have that plus defense or something, flat plus defense, you could change it and hopefully get something good. They said that also there's going to be some new uh, potential subs that you haven't seen yet coming up. So that should be pretty exciting. Transmogrification. It's going to be a purely cosmetic alteration. There's no change in attributes, they, and it's going to be added to the game gradually. The first set is going to be things such as mechanic or military band outfits. This should be fun. Um, they also mentioned that you'll be able to go back to the uh, unawakened form if you want. Some officially released 2016 plans. More Rift of Worlds dungeons. There's going to be five total dungeons, and they hinted that there's going to be one for each attribute. Real time arena. This is huge. That'll completely change things. I don't know the mechanics yet, but I'll definitely keep you posted as we hear uh, what's going on with that. The other one that's huge is arena across servers. So global server can attack Asia, can attack Europe, can attack Korea, etc. That's going to be really interesting. And then twink arena. This is going to be only three star and below monsters allowed. So that'll be an interesting little change as well. It should be fun. Besides the official 2016 plans, these are the ones that were not officially announced, but were translated and confirmed by uh, someone within Contuas that I'm in communication with. So first is that arena replay, you know, like whether your defense was it failed or succeeded, it's very difficult for them. And so they don't really have plans to implement that. Violent Runes. They reviewed the coding many times. They ran statistical analyses and they actually found that it's proccing properly. The developers though wish to have this unknown property to make the gameplay unpredictable in the beginning. And they're going to... They wanted to change it overall. They said they're going to still keep doing careful consideration to satisfy the community. So 
we might see some upcoming violent changes. One piece of great news, Devilmons in the Guild Shop, as well as Rainbow Mons potentially in the Glory Shop. They want to make those available in both. I'm excited about that a lot. And then, of course, all servers receive a gift with this event. So, woo, good times. Hopefully you found this useful. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions. And subscribe to keep them coming. Thanks, everyone.